In today's video, we're going to go over some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. The following footage comes from a family who noticed these holes in their garage door. So they decided to look at the footage from the night before. And what they captured was truly terrifying. What looks like a humanoid unidentified creature was trying to break through their garage door. But the interesting question is, what is this? It actually looks like it has the animal eye shine. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think this could have been. I don't know, after seeing something like that on my security cam, I do not think that I would trust whatever may be out there. Whether that's a person or an animal, whatever it is, is terrifying. You will not believe what they just found in the pyramids. Now, so scientists have discovered an unknown structure under the pyramids of Giza. And this recent discovery, scientists are saying, is just absolutely mind-blowing. And the last few weeks, archaeologists, scientists, and researchers have been going to Egypt to basically run some tests and look into it more. When, of course, a couple weeks ago, they found this strange anomaly under the Great Pyramid. And they found this as well, which just makes it crazier again. So in the pyramids, there are actually areas that aren't accessible to humans because they're too tight and too small to even get through. Now, way back in 1993, a secret hatch was actually discovered, but of course, technology didn't allow us to even get anywhere near it and until now we've never been able to see footage of this thing and let alone what's past it. Apparently it's completely blocked off at the end with a massive boulder which was obviously purposely put there to block off whatever is past it but they did manage to slip a camera partially under it to get a little bit of a view which they said they saw intricate symbols painted on the floor, artwork and some strange structures that just don't make any sense. Okay, explain. So of course they're saying this is a huge mystery and of course could be pretty groundbreaking paired with the findings of the electrical anomaly under the ground like so yeah of course they're going to keep looking into it i'm sure there's going to be more coming out about this make sure you hit that follow button and i will keep you updated i have heard about the discovery that they found under the ground and i've also heard about that little tiny room that they discovered a long time ago in the pyramid i really want to know what is behind that wall what was that room used for how come there's a room in an area that's extremely hard to get to and you can only get to it through small small little tiny chambers. Do any of you have a guess as to what's in that room, what that room was used for? Because I would really like to know. I'm sorry, but what is happening to New York? Nah, 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 nah. I actually can't believe I'm saying this. Like, this is mental. So when you hear of cities sinking, you probably think of Venice or the Maldives, right? Places that are going to be underwater in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 years. You probably don't think of major cities, especially New York. Apparently, New York is sinking. Yes, sinking, but why? Because the buildings are too heavy. What? <laughs> now, if you think this is a load of rubbish, literally look right here. Proper news sources, it's actually documented. And the 300 square miles that New York sits on, there is apparently 760 million tons, which is 1.68 trillion pounds. Yeah. In a recent study done, they evaluated that the city is literally sinking between 1 and 3 millimetres every single year. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is. But they just keep on building. It's like all these cities, London, Dubai, New York. But they're just gonna flipping sink. Literally never even contemplated that, thought it would even be possible, but there you go, learn something new every day. And they're even saying that it could begin flooding and sinking parts of the city by 2050. So yeah, make sure you hit that follow button, I'll keep you updated. It's pretty crazy to think about. It makes me wonder if that's happened in the past to other continents that we no longer know anything about because they've per pretty much completely submerged themselves underwater. Maybe that's even what happened to the lost city of Atlantis. The University of Harvard is now doing research on UFOs. They believe that it's a certain group of UFOs that's walking around disguised as humans. Not only that, they are seeing that this is really their planet and not ours. Secret UFO civilizations. Aliens could be here on Earth already, Harvard scientists said. So scientists is saying this? So I guess if a scientist tell people aliens are here, we're going to believe it. There's so many articles coming out speaking about these aliens. I really believe they are trying to get people ready for something. But the big question is, are these aliens 
or are they demons? Or maybe they just fallen angels. So many people will lose their mind once they realize that most of the people that control this world, the elites, they are really aliens. This article right here from the Harvard scientists, not really new. This is old news. So many spiritual people been telling people for years that aliens are here. But I guess since we are not scientists, nobody believe us. Before the year end, I guarantee there will be a UFO craft that lands on this planet. But the question is, how will people react once they start seeing these alien life forms? When this event take place, the biggest argument people will have amongst themselves is aliens, or fallen angels. Some people are going to say, no, they are demons. Satan is on this planet right now and these aliens work for Satan. They are trying to get people ready for these supernatural events. They are not really supernatural, but since so many people don't believe in this kind of stuff, they're going to lose their mind when they see UFOs start to land on this planet. If you go read this Harvard article from the scientists, it clearly says that aliens are walking around disguised, looking like us. Most of the people that control this world, the elites, they are the disguised aliens. You know, at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I did say that I think that we're going to have a lot of alien slash UFO content. And I think that something's going to happen within the alien slash UFO realm. And I kind of like to believe that something's going to happen at the end of this year, like he said, where there's going to be a UFO that touches base. Everyone's going to get to witness it. It's going to be an event that's purposely done by the aliens to make themselves known. And if that ever happened, it would be a really crazy time to be alive because they could just be extraterrestrials from different planets far away that are not gods, not demigods, or any fallen angels. They're just literally an extremely advanced civilization that's making their way to Earth because they either need our resources or they're just making peace with other living beings across the cosmos. The sad thing is, if that's the case, we are going to have a lot of people that are going to judge them and shun them out and call them fallen angels and demons. That's going to probably be the new derogatory word for extraterrestrial life forms. But at the end of the day, I won't believe it until I see it, and then I'll make that call whether I believe it to be aliens, fallen angels, or what have you. Let me know what you guys think about this. If aliens ever made themselves known, would you believe them to be extraterrestrial life forms, or would you believe they're demons, fallen angels, or things like that? Let me know in the comments. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And to everyone that's subscribed and or watching, thank you so much for being subscribed and thank you so much for watching. And to everyone that was worried about me for the past few days because I have not been uploading, I'm really sorry. I did create a community post, but for some reason I posted it under private and I was wondering for a couple of days, I'm like, wow, I can't believe not a single person even liked it or commented on it, but it is what it is because some people commented on my past video asking if I was okay. And I, I looked at the post and I realized my community post was on private. So I, I made another community post letting everyone know, hey, I'm just updating things in my office and everything will be back on track for today which is Saturday. So I'm really sorry for anyone that was worried about me and I appreciate you for checking in on me. Also, one of the things that I've worked on in this office is, uh, well, hold on, I'll show you. So it's gonna look like I'm just giving you a hug. So just bear with me. And then I can hit this button, move my microphone out the way. And now you can stand up with me because I have a standing desk. So yeah, this is pretty cool, I think. Now when I tell you the planet is going through a shift, y'all, the planet is shifting. You cannot tell me this is something that you come across every single day. This is a pie bowl shark, a lemon shark. Look at this, y'all. Do you see it? It's a pie, it's a, it's, they're calling it a pie bowl shark. Look at this. Black and white, huh? I'm telling y'all, ever since the solar eclipse, y'all, things have taken an extreme shift on the planet. And the animals are showing it, y'all. The animals are showing it. All these white animals, these albino animals, these piebald animals, right? And then you see what's going on with nature. 
all the cataclysms that's going on in the world and like i said it's only going to intensify what if all the now what if this is a normal occurrence y'all and before we enter a new age all these type of changes start happening to the animals because again animals connected to nature and they're the first one that's going to ch show us what's happening to this earth what's happening to this world and not just all these animals changing underneath the sunlight because that's what the sunlight is doing it's changing all of us it's changing our dna and animals are connected to nature they are the first ones to show us the signs these changes and i truly believe this is what's happening we're entering a new age new sun and new frequencies you know new vibrations and this is what's happening to the planet y'all let me know what you guys think about this video this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time have you guys ever seen a pie bowl shark i don't think too many of you guys have y'all and just to let you know it was caught in release just to let you guys know it was caught in release there's not really much I can say about that shark being different because honestly I do not know anything about those sharks. That might just be a normal occurrence for them. I'm glad he said that they at least released it because that's kind of sad seeing such a creature pulled out of the water and basically tortured. Let me know in the comments if you have any more information about these types of sharks. Do they normally look like that? Is that really rare? I really have no clue. Silent weapons. I came across this committee hearing for Homeland Security and their subject matter was what they called silent weapons. Russia has developed a weapon of taking microwaves and converting them into acoustic waves that can cause damage and or death. Every single person that was affected by this described it the exact same way where they're just sitting in their office and they said all of a sudden there's a sharp pain typically in their right ear. One dude said it's like taking a pencil and jabbing it into your oh. ear. Another lady said it felt like a drill was in her ear. It doesn't go away. They have neurological damage basically like amnesia or in like alzheimer's is it basically it's designed to penetrate your brain and make you feel like you're going crazy oh my and gosh. eventually leading to your potential death that's what's happening to me right now <laughs> but my theory is the cia is not letting homeland security or fbi or any of the sister agencies investigate it because the cia is probably using it too right the cia came out and said no nah, that's not what it of that, course that. But, but then, then the <laughs> pentagon yeah they they requested thirty six million dollars to investigate that specific issue. Thirty six million dollars is kind of uh, validating, in yeah. my opinion, that, that it exists. They're just like literally maniacally pulling the strings of the world. Horrible. Anyways. What are you going to do about that? I personally believe that we've had silent weapons for a very long time and we've been utilizing them in secret. And they also are probably used for more than just harming people. There's probably certain frequencies that are being used to mind control people, to help people work more efficiently. There's probably all different kinds of silent weapons out there that do a number of different things. Did you know they used fluorescent lighting to stop kids from having ADHD tendencies? 90 days after, the regular cool white fluorescent tubes were replaced with the new type full spectrum fluorescent tubes with radiation. They ran this experiment on a group of kids where like they tested to see what was the actual cause of ADHD. But they didn't want to find out really the cause, but how to like change it or stop it. So what they did is that they changed the lights inside the actual room and replace it with fluorescent lighting and turns out that light stopped the kids from like having adhd there was a marked improvement noted and the extremely hyperactive boy has voluntarily moved up to the front row artificial lighting has an actual effect like bro these are artificial lights right now that has an actual effect on your behavior this is theory you ever drove past the projects and they have that one nypd fucking light this yeah is like, yeah yeah apparently that light is there to like mitigate crazy activity now i don't know how true that is but um usually like in the very poor areas in the projects like in brooklyn and shit like canarsie and shit they'd be having a bunch of those very interesting and it kind of makes sense. Now, I've never heard of that experiment before, but the act of having artificial light does alter how one behaves. There's something about being in a room with either fluorescent lights or stage lights, spotlights being directly on you. At least for me, it does alter my behavior a little bit to where I start to act more professional, I guess. Like right now, I have two lights on me. When these lights are on, I'm highly focused. So I don't know if it's just fluorescence or if it's just lights in general or how they're presented onto somebody, but I do believe lights can 
manipulate someone's behavior a little bit. And that goes for any color light. Like there's blue lights, red lights. They all can make you feel a certain type of way. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Oh my goodness. I called the emergency. They said to call leasing office. Leasing office said they're unavailable. Man, let me tell you, I've been in a situation very similar to this. The house that I live in right now is amazing. I love this house. I am extremely thankful for this place. The place that I lived in, that I still own, was a nightmare. The roof practically did the same thing in multiple areas. The kitchen, one of the spare bedrooms, and the master bedroom and the master bathroom. All of those spots in that house did the exact same thing this did. Not having anywhere to go around that time and I had to seal off sections of the house to make sure the family didn't get sick. Had to make sure that parts of the electrical were shut off so no fires would happen. It was rough. And I feel bad for whoever has to go through that because that was a very hard time in my life to deal with. For anyone that has to go through that, I am so sorry, especially if you're a homeowner and you're not just renting and this is something that you have to cover yourself because I've been there and it's not fun. I was scrolling through Twitter today and at Twitter X, whatever. I was scrolling through X and I saw this tweet Alleged unedited clip of a mysterious creature tending to its prey in Mexico. What the hell is that? Usually I'm not the type of person that gets scared easily because I like this type of stuff. However, when I saw this video, I low-key got freaked out. And if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you know that if I can prove something wrong, I would. But I do also like to give the benefit of a doubt. However, when I saw this video, I don't know, it's just something didn't feel right with me while watching it. Watch the video, y'all, and let me know what you guys think down below. Just watch this and let me know what you guys think. No, mames. No, mames. No, mames. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below on what the hell this is. Uh, for me, definitely a creepy moment and not a bad creepy video, but I really truly think that this is a hoax. Kind of looks like a big bat creature, maybe even a giant spider. But the simple fact that they're just filming, watching, and not doing anything about it, kind of makes me believe that this is fake. They're not even running away or calling for help. Now, I, I cannot speak Spanish, so I'm not sure what they are saying. If anyone can translate, that's awesome. Maybe you can let me know what they're saying in the comments. But to me, I really feel like this is a hoax. Let me know your thoughts. The following footage comes from a man named Jay out of the state of Texas. And honestly, this is gonna be truly up to you to decide on what you're watching. He claims that his ring camera captured an alien abduction, basically at his neighbor's house, the house directly in front of him. And when he focuses in on the spacecraft, the UFO, it truly does look like a UFO. I don't believe that this is a, a lens flare or some sort of reflection. It actually looks like a craft over the home. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. Did this truly have been an alien abduction captured on rank. Go back, son. What? 
go back a little bit then zoom in so they can see it all on the ring camera detection now watch this the next one what the hell pause it on that yo he lit up the whole street look how big this thing is a weird thing that would happen to me when I was a kid, I would experience these moments of bursts of light just happening randomly in random spots. I'd be in maybe the bathroom in my house where there was no window. A flash of light would happen so fast and so like so bright that you do not even have a, a, a moment to realize what happened. It just seems like, oh, I just seen a, a flash of light. I'd wonder to myself if I ever got abducted by aliens and that's what that was. If they have the ability to bend space time to travel through space, then they probably have the ability to stop time or manipulate time in some way. I've always been curious about flashes of light and maybe possible alien abduction. So when I seen that flash of light and what looks to be a giant UFO over this person's house, it kind of reminded me of that when I was a kid. I do think that this is a genuine video. I do not think that they're trying to hoax this moment. And I really have not a clue what that could be. It might have just been a reflection of some sort. Maybe a car went by and it, it shined just right and it caused a glare to hit the camera. But that would also make me kind of think, hey, there was a UFO above that guy's house and they abducted somebody. And even if that person was there, we do not know how abduction works. They could have been gone for what seemed like a month to them, but was back in an instant as soon as that flash happened, you know? You're looking at video of Joe Biden frozen during a Juneteenth celebration at the White House last night. He stood in place while those around him, including his vice president, danced and clapped to a gospel concert. The video shows Biden staring blankly and not moving an inch for about 30 seconds before another man puts his arm around him. Republicans were quick to point out the incident as evidence that Joe Biden isn't all there mentally. The White House has not yet made any statements about the incident. This incident is similar to two occasions last year when a Republican leader froze in front of reporters at the Capitol and then again at an event in his home state of Kentucky. The Republican that froze was 81 at the time and Biden is 81 now. Republicans say Biden is declining in his old age and can't handle the responsibilities of the presidency. I'm not all about the political standpoints of it, so that's not really where I'm aiming at for this video. In general, I just feel bad for him because you can definitely tell that mentally there's something wrong with this individual. And it's kind of sad to see someone in that state still running as a president. You don't want to see someone's mental health decline even if you don't like the person. And to me, I do think that Biden's mental state is declining. I just found out they have a house in Czech Republic with a portal that could take you right to hell. Did you know about this? The name of the house is Huska Castle. This castle is so demonic that they have an inside prison to keep the demons from getting out of the house. This is the portal of hell right here. They said this portal was so deep, it's a never ending drop. It never ends. So we have a portal that don't end. But on the other side of this portal, we have demons and hybrids climbing out of the portal. Some of the artwork inside this castle shows men going to war with some kind of hybrid beast. They believe that these are the demons. Every night, these demons will climb out of the pit of hell and go to war with the soldiers that's protecting the castle. In the 17th and 18th century, they will go find criminals and make them go down to the bottom of this pit. And whoever reached the bottom of the pit, they will be free. But no one never seen the bottom of the pit. It's even stories of young men going in the bottom of the pit. And when they come out, they're old men. This is not some old story that was made up in the 17th and 18th centuries. Because the same events is going on right now. This place was so wicked. They started taking names down of certain ghosts they were seeing. And the ghosts and demons they were seeing, mind blowing. They seen a spirit riding around on a horse. But the horse didn't have no head. They made a movie called The 13 Ghosts. And this movie was talking about Huska Castle. 
Man, when it comes to holes that lead into the pits of hell or just really deep holes in general, I really wish that we could explore those a little bit more thoroughly by dropping either GoPros down the hole or drones down the hole, something with a camera, lots of rope. Let's go down these holes and explore. Do you, have you heard of the pizza meter? No. Okay, this is crazy, all right? So we have, like, the doomsday clock, which is, like, 90 seconds to midnight, apparently. Yeah. I read about this thing called the pizza meter, and uh, there's this guy that's been studying pizza places that are around certain government buildings. Oh, oh yeah, 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 like the Pentagon one. In the Pentagon one, and there's a Papa John's, that one's, like, that's, like, super, super close to the Pentagon. This guy's been watching that during emergency situations in the U.S., they'll stay open later. They get more orders overnight because everyone's still at the government building, and so it lines up with emergency situations like the peaks of ordering pizza late at night and having <gasps> them delivered and stuff Funny. like that and so it's like hey get, let's get pizza you know we have you know problems to fix we gotta you know freaking kill somebody in the government yeah. who knows they're all sitting down and meeting and that's like how literally people are gauging whether how serious our situation in america is and yeah. like what the government's up to if there's some stuff that we need to worry about it's all called the pizza meter that's funny you just unveiled like a, a way to completely dismantle the people in charge of solving problems maybe we just saved them from pizza they probably yeah. pizza all the time they're like finally yeah i'm not gonna lie i would have never have thought about checking the food chain supplies around certain government buildings to see if how active they are in comparison to events that happen in america to just compare okay they are ordering this amount of food and this event happened so that means that they were probably planning for this and they got all that food around for it it's a really clever way of looking at a situation and observing what might happen in the future. But the downside of learning this tactic is the government probably is going to change how they order food or they might just not order food anymore. NASA is hiding something big. Now, we all know NASA is a space agency, right? <laughs> well, maybe not. So did you know that NASA actually owned the rights to the inside of the pyramids? Now, why, you ask? Well, we're not entirely sure, but reports suggest that they found something technological inside and they just want to control it. Now, also, if you remember the news a couple of weeks back that I made a video on about how they found an electrical anomaly literally buried under the Great Pyramid of Giza, this is 100% real. They're not sure what it is, so I'm not saying it's some portal or something, but they did find some kind of electrical currency under the ground. That kind of goes with the story. But it's not just the pyramids, because it's the Grand Canyon as well. Now, there's a guy, you've probably seen him on TikTok, who said about his experience when he went to the Grand Canyon. Let me just recap. Basically, he went to the Grand Canyon and tried to walk down this area where apparently there was all these carvings. He got stopped by all these Secret Service people who said, you can't come any further because this is, you know, NASA property. So why are NASA there? Now, is this completely factual? Well, we don't really know. Now, of course, there's not going to be loads of reports online about how they own all these different places. And, oh, yeah, guys by the way we have a portal in the middle of the grand canyon if you guys want to see it like they're not going to say that are they we all know there are higher powers we all know there are the elites as such right so whether you believe this about nasa that they own these places and there's weird things going on there definitely is weird things going on in the world and definitely large corporate companies who are doing things that we would never even be told about so i'll leave it with you to think about that one let me know your thoughts in the comments down below hit that follow button i'll keep you updated now i just looked up to see if nasa really owns the inside of the pyramid of giza and I cannot find a true answer to that question. Now, NASA does have on their website talking about the inside of the pyramid, but I do not see anywhere where it says NASA owns the inside or the pyramids in general. So that I do not know if that's true or not. So let me know in the comments if you know. But regardless, according to NASA, NASA is interested in the pyramids. For what reasons? They just like to explore, they say. Makes me wonder if there is something going on inside the pyramids that maybe they know about that they're keeping hidden from us. I'll do a deep zoom for you. Watch this.
it kind of looked like the driver was pulling out a gun. I'm not 100% sure it was extremely blurry. I would have never have guessed that the driver would have been the one that shot John F. Kennedy. That is something new to me that's just been coming up on TikTok that kind of opened my mind to the possibility of it. And I kind of believe it. There's these yellow spiders coming from Asia and infesting New York. Where are they coming from though? Asia. Like but how In though? Southeast Asia. I don't know. <laughs> no don't, bl don't blame it on me. <laughs> But I think what happened was somebody probably took a spider yeah. out there and it started like breeding and shit. I wonder who did that, man. <laughs> I saw it. I'm like, that's a yellow spider, bro. There's actually no way. This look, guy started the trend, bro. Spider. This might be W publicity for rap, bro. <laughs> look, look, look. Giant flying Joro spiders coming to NYC area this summer. Stuff from your nightmares. Look oh at it, though. God, it's yellow. Bro. Look at that, bro. Oh my God. Isn't that wild? Literally, the plot of Raft is unfolding in real life. <laughs> it's Ooh, those look like weird versions of banana spiders. The simple fact that they can make a parachute and fly through the sky is pretty scary. From what I understand, they're pretty harmless, but I personally would still not want to deal with them regardless. Do y'all see what's going on in Colorado, y'all? So people have been messaging me and telling me that Colorado has been getting some weird weather anomalies. I mean, like everywhere else. But this right here, we have never seen anything like this before. Now they want to claim this is heat lightning y'all, but ain't no way, ain't no way. Can you see this cylindrical uh, object here? Can you see this huge cylindrical object here? Look, it's very defined y'all, look at this. Can this, and then this is like a huge like funnel cloud right over it. Can y'all see that? What? Look at this y'all. I remember as a kid, like, right, heat lightning would be just like a sporadic type of thing, right? We've seen it for like a second or two, and that's it. But this is different. There is something in the atmosphere, you guys. There is some, look, look at, look at that, y'all. You can clearly see there a solid object there, y'all. This is crazy. This looks like a giant hand reaching out. Look. Oh, my goodness. What a time to be alive. What is this? What is that right there, y'all? I did not see any kind of solid objects in there. It was so flashy. I really didn't see anything that kind of just looked like a lot of heat lightning to me. But there could have been something in there. If you've seen anything, let me know. Because I didn't see anything doesn't mean that I might have missed something. Just want to warn you guys, if you're watching this while you're laying in bed or home alone or in a dark place, you may want to save it till it gets to daylight following picture I'm getting ready to show you is the scariest picture I've ever seen of a demonic entity trying to manifest as a little girl. I'm actually going to show you two pictures. One, the first one I'm going to show is before this apparition fully manifests, you can see something trying to happen. Then I'll show you the second one, which you can clearly see this little girl with a pink dress on. When I began doing paranormal investigations nearly 25 years ago, me along with my friends at the time who also done that, we would often discuss what would be the scariest thing to encounter while on a paranormal investigation. And it was pretty much the same for everyone. Anything trying to manifest as a child, and this is the thing nightmares are made of. Watch this. So this is the first picture, and I know you really can't make anything out of it because this was, picture was took in like a bedroom. It's kind of dark. I don't know if there was any power in the house or what, but you'll notice this white looking misty stuff. This is just before the apparition fully manifested. Now watch this one. So here is the picture with the little girl. You can make out a pink dress. You can see her face. And I'm actually gonna show you another picture just a moment where I went in and lightened up the picture. And you can make out even more detail, it's insane. But the guy who captured this, he said he thought the little girl was holding a baby doll. But this is truly one of the creepiest ones that I've seen but check out this version of it too. Here I have lightened the picture and you can clearly see a little girl or something trying to be a little girl. You can make out her face, her hair, her pink dress. But what I thought was interesting, just this confirmed demonic for me, look at her arm. Look how uh, twisted and just off her arm is. It's not a little girl's arm, it's very long, it's very oddly shaped. And he thought that she is also holding a baby doll. But I mean, check out the features in this. You can tell this old house, 
And like I said, the first picture, you can see this creature trying to manifest. And this one, it has fully manifested. And again, just, it just screams evil, demonic to me. Uh, I don't know. That to me just looks like a little girl holding an object. Was it intentionally done to claim that it was a paranormal moment? Maybe. But to me, that's just a normal photo of a little girl that's just been distorted slightly. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As always, if you found any of these clips interesting, links are in the description down below. Thank you for being so patient with me on the time that I was absent from the channel trying to set up my office. And one more thing, if you've made it to the end of this video to listen to me talk, I really appreciate that. And I want to let you know that later on today, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there will be another video uploaded. So look forward to that if that's something that you're interested in because I'm uploading two videos today. This one that you're watching now at 9 o'clock in the morning and another one at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't forget and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. And with that being said, have a good day.